So a very quick communication hack, which is to explore switching your buts out of sentences and putting and in instead. So this week I needed to say no to a second date and I left a message which went, you know, I really appreciated your sparkiness and how quickly you responded to messages, but I don't feel like there's really any future. And as soon as I heard the but come out of my mouth, my finger hovered over the re-record button. Because in my experience, if I say but in that context, the person hears what comes after the but, the bad stuff. And the stuff that came before it is forgotten. And I want the person to have the best chance of hearing both of the things that I have said. So putting an and in might look something like, you know, I really appreciated the report that you produced and all of the detail that you put into it. And there are a few things I'd love to pick up on with you. Is there a time that we can do that? For me, it shifts the energy. So I hope you'll enjoy having a play with that.